piano roll in Fruity Loops is amazing, especially compared to a lot of our other audio packages. Um, so if we uh, load up an instrument and open up the piano roll here, um, first thing to take note of is here the the color. I don't if you haven't noticed before. If you look up uh, up the top there, you'll see each color actually. It's not just for um, ease of use. They actually attribute to different MIDI channels. Um, so if you drop a note in. Um, and drop another note in. It'll actually play on a different MIDI channel if your if your plugin can use different MIDI channels. It's very easy to see everything on the one on the um, the one playlist there. Um, another useful feature is these slide these slide notes here. So if we play a note, it's just a normal note, but we play a slide note. Now these slide notes um, and portamento are only um, used for fruity native plugins they're the only plugins that will actually read it but uh, an another interesting thing to to note yeah, of course we've got the slides that if we added another non-slide note it will slide them both but uh, say if we chucked it, this note on another MIDI channel that one stays the same and uh, obviously we can apply a slide note say down so the pink note goes down and the green note goes up um, some other really cool features um, uh, are the tools, the tools in um, the piano roll. So if we, is an example of one of the tools, and I encourage you to go through them yourself. But uh, say if we look at the claw machine, um, we can get some really interesting um, effects happening with the the way it, uh, funny things it does with the notes. There we go. Um, can start to get some really cool effects like that. Um, there are, of course, other other tools that to play around with that are, are really cool. Again, I encourage you to look at yourself um, when you're working with multiple channels on the same pattern. Um, we want to enable. Uh, enable the ghost channels and that allows us to see what's happening on the other channel if you double right click on one of the ghost notes it'll switch to that channel which is also very very useful um, normally uh, when you're say if you've got a note here and you want to resize it you can just move it from that if you hold alt of course you can um, set it yourself but from the other side it, you can't really do anything which is a bit annoying so I find um, uh, changing that option uh, will give gives you a lot more. Um, it's a lot easier to use Fruity Loops. There we go. So now you can resize it from either side.